Hey guys, Jeffrey from Headstrong Training Systems here. So today we're on the bench press and today we'll be talking about um, a style of bench press technique um, in order to generate stability in, throughout the whole body and to tension the legs. So the style that I want to talk about today in particular is in regards to the foot placement. Now a lot of different people have a lot of different foot placements. They either um, have their feet placed out very wide, they have their feet tucked all the way back in, um, and they have different widths as well, so there's a lot of foot placements in the bench press. So the foot placement that I want to talk about, or the one that I prefer, and the one that I teach the most, is a foot style, where you essentially you're placing your feet relatively narrow, close together, and relatively in front of you as well. So this is about the position that you're in. And the reason that I like, really like this position, is that in this position, it gives me a lot of leg drive. Because when you're tucked all the way back here, and you leg drive, you can only push down. You can't really push away, and when you push down, your ass is going to come off the bench. And so that's, and then also your leg drive, when you're pushing down, you're not actually generating force upwards. You're generating force downwards, which you don't want. Now, if your feet position is very wide, um, I feel that personally you, la you lose a bit of stability there because you've got too many directions of leg drive that's coming from. So right now, what the position I like to be in is right here. I've got my feet relatively narrow together and then actually in front of the bench. And the reason for that is because look at how I'm able to manipulate my chest through my legs. So this isn't me raising my chest, this is me pushing my legs into the ground. You see that? See how when I drive my legs into the ground and push the floor away, my chest will rise. And that's a lot of tightness that I'm able to generate simply by using this foot placement. Now, how do we um, action this and take this um, foot placement and we action into a bench press? So say when we unrack, do exhale. All right, the bench. Now, from a sign position, before, or as I brace, or even before I brace, you'll see that my chest will raise. And that will be because of me using this leg drive placement to push the floor away and reset my chest in a position, set my scaps in a position, generate stability and generate tightness. So, See how from this foot position, I'm really able to get tight. And you can actually see my leg drive in action. You can actually see my leg drive and the effect it has on my chest. So I'll do it one more time. So to recap um, what we've gone over today, today we talked about specifically a very a more narrow and more further away foot placement that I think is quite effective on the bench rest because it will punish you if you're not actually using leg drive because all those other stances where you're really tucked in or you've got your legs further apart, you can, you will give, it will give you the, a false illusion of being tight simply because you're in a, you're in a, your quads are in a shortened state. But that doesn't allow you to actively use leg drive to supplement your bench press. And with this full position, you can see how obvious my leg drive is. You can see my chest actually rise as a result of that leg drive. And if I'm not leg driving correctly, I'm going to be punched in the movement. So that's all from me today, guys. Hopefully that was helpful for you. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.